Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com. Make sure you check out my free workflow video series available on my website and also all of the exclusive videos that are only available via my membership site. The links are below. In the previous video, we learned how to swap a head using Photoshop. And in this video, well, we're going to swap out an entire baby. <laughs> it's going to be the same technique that we used, but we're going to execute it just a little bit differently. So we're going to take the baby on the left and put that baby in the photo on the right. The first thing we're going to do is move the entire canvas onto that photo. And the way you do that is you press V on your keyboard in order to access your move tool. Now you could, but you wouldn't, you could click and drag this image over and there you have it on that canvas. But you see how then you have to kind of place it where you need it. But there's a really neat keyboard shortcut in order to accomplish that much faster. So if we're on this photo, on the left, we have it selected, we have our move tool. Now, hold down shift and click and drag this photo over to this canvas and you'll see it placed it exactly in the center. So it attempts to line those up and that's really nice. It just saves you a step when you get into this photo. We can go ahead and close this one because we will not be using it. I'm gonna go ahead and press F on my keyboard in order to go full screen in Photoshop and then Command or Control plus in order to zoom in. I'm gonna press my space bar to access my pan tool just so I can place this image over here. Okay, so we have our original, uh, I shouldn't say our original, we have the first photo with the little girl on the right smiling, and then I prefer the photo of the baby in this image. My sweet friend Ann Wilmus provided us with these photos today, and if you're not familiar with Ann's work, I've included her link in the down bar below because she is an amazing photographer. I had the privilege of photographing her wedding a few years ago, and I am proud to say that I mentored her, but I cannot take credit for what she's done because she is amazing. So she sent me these images so I could share this technique. So make sure you check out her website. Okay, what I would like to do is add a layer mask to layer one. But the thing is, I want that layer mask to be completely hidden so that I can reveal exactly what I want to see. In this case, it will be the baby. So I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option on my keyboard. And remember, I always say that keyboard modifier brings life to the party. Holding down Alt or Option and clicking the Layer Mask button at the bottom of the Layers palette will add a layer mask, but you notice what it did was it immediately filled it with black. That is to conceal all of the contents of Layer 1. And we're gonna use a white brush to reveal just what we wanna see, in this case, the baby. I'm gonna press B on my keyboard to access my brush tool. I'm gonna to quickly look at my tool options and make sure that the mode is set to normal and the opacity and flow are at 100%. I also want to make sure that I have a white brush because if I try to paint with a black brush on a black mask, well, nothing will happen. So what I'm going to do is make my brush a little bit bigger with my right bracket key. And as I click and brush with my white brush, what I'm doing is revealing the contents of layer one. So I'm brushing with my white brush to see what's happening on layer one. So I'm just carefully brushing over the baby and maybe just a little bit edge of that blanket just to have it go over the bench a little bit. And I'm gonna make my brush smaller, with my left bracket key, so I can sort of make fine tuning adjustments. Carefully going over there. And I think that looks pretty good, but let's check. Let's look at our before and after, and I'm just checking the integrity of the surrounding area, and this was actually a really easy fix because of the background. And then the only final thing that I would do to this image is some retouching and skin softening, and that's available on my membership site. I have ways to accomplish that in both Lightroom and Photoshop, but what it would look like is this. So that would be the final image. So this was the original, and that was the final image. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.